Hello viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel 3D Parametric Solid Model Drawings. Today we will create an assembly of hinge in SOLIDWORKS. Now we are showing two pics of this model so that you can understand what this part will look like at the end. If you want to get the file of this model, I have given the link address in the description of my video. By visiting that link, you can get it easily. Okay, that's it. Let us start the tutorial. First of all, we will create a new part file from here. Okay, alright. Now select the top plane and activate the extruded boss base command. Draw a center point rectangle from the part origin. Its height will keep 3 by 4 inch and width will keep 3 inches. Okay, finish the sketch. Fix the depth value 1 by 16 inches and click OK. Now see, my first extruded boss base feature has been created here. Now we will change the part material as polished steel. OK, alright, my part is looking very bright. Now we will activate the extruded boss base command and select the front face of the model to start the sketch. Choose the front view by selecting the view orientation tool. Draw a rectangle from here and fix the diameter of this circle 5 by 16 inches. Now we will apply the vertical relation between the center point of the circle and this end point. And then next we will apply the coincident relation on here to fix the circle. Now we create a small circle inside of the outer circle. Ok, now my sketch is fully defined on here. So we will exit from the sketching environment. Now choose up to surface option from the design window. Rotate the model in this position and select the opposite side face of the feature and click OK. Now see my two boss extrude features has been created on here. It looks great. Now we will activate the plane command from here. Select the outer cylindrical surface of the hinge and select the front face. Now activate the parallel button from here. Click OK. Now see the plane is created tangent to this cylindrical surface of the hinge. Ok, that's it. Now we will change the name of this plane, name it as Tangent Plane. And click OK. Now we will activate the extruded cut command. Ok, start the sketch over the top face of the model. Now we will draw a vertical construction line over the midpoint of this edge. And draw a circle over the construction line 
fix the diameter 1 by 8 inches. Now we will fix another dimension between this edge and circle. It will keep 1 by 2 inches. Ok, finish the sketch. Now select the through all option and click OK. The hole is created over the hinge plate. Ok, that's it. Now we will apply the chamfer over the whole edge. Fix the chamfer distance value 1 by 32 inches. And then next activate the equal distance option on here. Click OK. Hide the visibility of the tangent plane. Now we will select the cut extrude and chamfer features from here and activate the linear pattern tool. Now we will select this edge for the pattern direction. Choose the reverse direction button on here. Fix the pattern spacing value 1 inch. And then next we will set the pattern instance as value 3 and click OK. Now see the result. Now we will save the file with the name part 1 in the hinge folder. Ok, that's it. Now we will activate the extruded cut command and select this face. Ok, now take the project of this face by activating the convert entities command. Now we create two lines like this on here. And convert unwanted sketches into construction geometry. Now we will exit from the sketching environment and fix the depth value 3 by 5 inches. Click OK. Now see the result. My slot is cut on here. Now we will activate the linear pattern tool from here. Select this edge for the pattern direction. Now we will select this extruded cut feature Fix the pattern spacing value 3 by 5 inches Now we will go to the instances to skip option Now we will select this first pink color point on here and then next select the second pink point ok so that the two pattern features will be suppressed from here and click ok now see Now we will save a second copy of this part with the name as part 2 by using save as copy and open option. Now we will edit the cut extruded 2 feature from here. And choose the offset option in the dialog box. Fix the offset distance value 3 by 5 inches. Choose the reverse direction and click OK. Now see my part is automatically updated on here. Save the part file. Now we create an assembly file on here. Click OK. Open the visibility of the assembly origin point. And place the part 1 file in this assembly. Now choose an isometric view. Okay. 
now we will float this part so that the component will be moved easily in an assembly because this part is grounded okay that's it now we will open the visibility of temporary axis of the part from here now we will select the whole axis of hinge and assembly origin point okay and fix the coincident mate between them now see now we will fix another coincident mate between both the right planes of assembly and part 1 file now drag the plate on here see the plate is rotating on her own axis now we will apply the parallel mate between both the top planes of assembly and part 1 file now we will place the second plate of the hinge in this assembly and rotate the part 2 file in this position by activating the move with drag command now we will apply the coincident mate between these two whole axes of the parts like this now we will select this face and this face and apply another coincident mate between them okay all right now my hinge plate is rotating on here save the assembly with the name hinge now we will create a new component in this assembly by activating the new power command click okay now save the part name it as part 3 okay all right now we will choose the right plane of the assembly to set the position of the new component now we will take the project of the inner hole edge from here okay finish the sketch now we will choose the extruded mouse base command now choose the circle and we will select the mid plane option its depth value 3 inches like okay now we will change the material of this part select polished steel it is looking perfect now we will select the top plane to start the sketch now we will take the project of this circular edge okay now rotate the model in the top view convert this line into construction geometry now we draw a horizontal construction line on here and draw a three point rectangle from this point draw an arc inside of the rectangle like this and fix the tangent relation over this arc okay finish the sketch now we will activate the revolve boss base command and select the sketch line and click okay now we will create a mirror of this revolve feature like this now see the result my rivet of the hinge is completed on here okay that's it save the assembly
Now we will check the interference in hinge assembly like this. Now see the result, no interference detected on here. Finally, my hinge assembly has been completed in SOLIDWORKS. I hope you will enjoy this video. If you may like this video, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please share this video your friends and colleagues. Okay friends, goodbye.